Right, this is a review of my uh, my Amiga you know, ColecoVision. Looks pretty cool. This ColecoVision I had for many years as, as a ColecoVision. Um, but it um, started having problems, connections and things like that. It was just worn. It was still functioning, but... Uh, uh, it never got used very much, but the case is very good, very good quality, sort of shiny case on it, and um, I th it just stood in the stood in the attic braiders. So I thought I was going to make use of it a, f a few years back, and I began to um, um, modify it to put a Raspberry Pi inside it and make it an Amiga. Um, this is what I did. I this case is all together, but. I, the boards over this side here, and I basically just cut the PCB, a big s square space in there, really, so the Raspberry Pi can sit in there, and then I can, the, the, because the PCB is still there, the joystick connectors to, uh, the controllers are still in place, uh, the cartridge port is still in place in there, and and uh, that sort of connector there is in place, though all of them are, well, the, the joystick connectors work, but um, uh, obviously it doesn't play, uh, at least in this mode, um, ColecoVision games anymore, or you can plug any things in that or do anything. It's also got little um, joystick uh, USB to ColecoVision uh, adapters that are upgradable, you can change how they uh you can change the firmware so they pretty well can accept any controller really but at the moment they're set set to two uh to um Clico controllers they're a bit flaky though i find sometimes particularly with this controller it would never seem to go down so this one i've swapped the the second fire key with down whereas this one is still standard and going sort of all the directions you need to do they're pretty awful controllers actually to use really but uh well, they do suit the system um so you can take them up a look a little bit better you can plug a cartridge in there or I'll play it doesn't actually have any function i did have initially have the on off button set to turn the machine on and off but it seemed to the button's pretty old and um it's not easy to take the bits so it couldn't provide the current reliability for the Raspberry Pi, so and that was that when it was a three. Uh, so it, that's been disconnected. The the same. Well, this this is still available to be connected. Uh, it's on the cable as a shutdown button, but um, that's not connected as it stands at the moment. But there's no reason why you couldn't do that. Um, plug that in so it can reset your machine when you want to. Um, it's pretty packed with cables in here and the adapters. And all the leads that, because this obviously this big space is taken up from where the, the controller sits. So this is hollow. So wires are going around here to the back parts here and to the front, the back there. I did do an Amiga like this, and it had similar sort of connectors. It's, it's got it's only got a single USB at the back here. Then it's got a a, a video and audio out. So if you want to connect it to a. a a composite monitor though that's not turned on it's actually set at the moment to hdr but you can use that go to composite mode and um use it on a on a analog p uh monitor like that if you want to try that so that's got hdmi there this is the power connector a bit of a iffy bodge but that works and then right at the end is where you plug in uh your sd card for the the raspberry pi so this has only got one external USB port, so I've been using this Raspberry Pi keyboard in that one USB, and then it's actually got a little hub on the back where you can connect your mouse to. I have ordered for it a little Bluetooth keyboard and mouse, so I think that'll make it look a bit tidier. Maybe you can just install those up here, maybe, but it may be too small, I'm not sure. But um, at the moment it's got a, say a Raspberry Pi with a heatsink, Raspberry Pi 4, 
for eight gigabyte in there, so it's slightly more four gigabyte than Mega had, but this one's got eight gigabytes in it. Well, I think that may have a little effect on its improvement, maybe to do things a little bit better. Um, as with uh, Mega, I had to adjust rather than the F12, there's no F12 on this keyboard, so I've moved to jump out of uh, Pi Amiga, I've moved it to F9. And F10 is to come out of um, WHE, WHL load, WHL load, well, that's what it is. Um, so, like, you would press, I press that, and it brings it into the uh, is it UAE Amiga, where you can uh, configure it, although it's very well, the person who ever did this Pi Amiga has configured it pretty well perfectly as it is and you can set up with the inputs the joysticks so they are quite flaky these but at the moment they are working as uh well that at least uh, one is because the other one is the mouse so the me gun is has really one joystick port really so it's just this one that's functioning i would probably get a, a bluetooth controller or a usb uh controller if you want to do anything more uh, more advanced with it um and then you can go down to Resume and you're back in, back in uh, Pi Amiga three. Uh, or if you come out of it again, you go down to. Is it shut down or quit? Quit. You go up into a Linux. You got here with the uh, various functions you can do within Linux. Linux. Linux is a is a fella, I believe. Uh, um, setting up conf configurations like that, and uh, the Raspberry Pi um, config file there you can adjust, or uh, go back into uh, Pi Amiga. So this is it was nicely configured. This Pi Amiga, it's probably a little bit too um, fancy for my. I can't. It was very hard to see any Amiga, original Amiga, sort of left in it, really. It's so it's been so updated with this dock. This dock seems to do... Uh, it's got various things like uh, MP3 players. Uh, they've got Winamp on here, which looks a lot on the PC. They've got updated. I didn't realise you could get Firefox and Chrome in, in, in uh, on the Amiga, but uh, they would work really... Fortunately, the, the Wi-Fi or I've got up here is dire, so... Uh, it not really doesn't really demonstrate the sort of connection to the internet too well. Um, you've got a games directory where this is sort of uh, with a few native sort of high-end Amiga games or conversions from PCs are on there, uh, like like uh, like a Doom. You can run that. Works pretty well, I think. Does it? That doesn't look too good. Oh, that's extra hype. That's, that's the wrong mode. That's extra hype. Fuck uh, you, pussy. All right, cool. Let's try again with uh, uh, where's pal? 320 by a UAE. Where is pal? 320 by 200. Oh, it's not fucking getting a bit stretched there. Oh, it works very well. Yes. Get the right mood on there. It's it works. It's Pi. That's why I didn't get for a Pi Five because it doesn't have the composite output. I don't think it does anyway. So that's why I want to stay with the Pi Four, which is perfectly able. And just uh, what was it? Exit. Uh, what are the Good games are on on here. Um, everything that's sort of really was converted. 
uh, 3D Duke Nukem. Um, Quakes on here, that works quite well. Uh, Amy Quake. This is that 320, it's, it's very smooth at this resolution. Spec it up a bit to 640 by 480. Uh, yeah, it runs that runs. Runs on that six forty. Get in there, it's hard to do and can hold hold the key hold the the vein thing. Yeah, but that's playable. When you go up to eight hundred it's just about playable. Um, at one or two four, it starts to struggle still. What other things are on there? It's got, as well as those sort of um, conversions, it's got all the WHD loaded games, which are zillions of them. Um, Play whatever you want on there, really. Choose a game. Um, Alien Breed 3D. For example, start. I used to love this game when I was playing on my Amiga. Pretty chunky vision now. Or was it joystick? Oh, it's joystick control, so. How do you open the door? How do I open the door? Oh, it's a button, isn't it? Anyway, press F10, breaks you out of that game. Uh, I need to breathe 3D. Just a bit more. Intense, still quite. Did I play two before? I can't remember. Is this? No, it's the same thing. Forget this. Oh, my memory. Um. That form used to be pretty good. I used to like playing that when I. On the Amiga. Other things on here, you've got uh, all graphics programs. Uh, I remember using, uh, it's got Light Lightwave on there, that's pretty good, I used to use that. Modeling, that's pretty powerful, it should be pretty good on this. Um, and Lux Paint 4, I didn't like 5, like 4. Um, 
Of Lightway 5, that's yeah, that's pretty fancy on leather. That's the ones I used on there. Graphics. Other thing it does quite well is um uh work uh, there's a thing to the internet. There's there's a lot of um office tools on here. Where is uh Directory Opus. My files, preference, programs in here. Uh, Final Calc. I like, like Final Calc was pretty good. I like, um, um, what's the word processor? Wordworth was on there, but that's not on here. I, do like, I did like Wordworth. That was... Uh, pretty good but it's got the other ones final copy remember that protex and excellence they're all right but uh no word worth which is a shame because that's pretty that was my favorite on the um mac emulation that's what it does it does very well i don't emulators got mame on here spectrum emulator Amstrad emulator. Uh, PC emulator. It actually comes out as quite a good um, original Mac. It's like an old second layer of, of software and stuff you can you can use when you're in the Mac mode. I do find making them these and uh, sort of more interesting than Amiga now because they're so hard to come by and expensive and all being hacked about. It's better to, to stick a pie in something and stick this on it than you. You get a more usable Amiga than an Amiga, which is There's some irony in that. Internet. What games have we got? Applications. Oh, video player. I'm sure we had games on here. CPU saver. Where is games? Pro oh, programs. There we are. There we are. Um, loads of Apple stuff. So that's this is Duke Nukem on on a Mac. That's on an Amiga. That's on Linux. That's on a Raspberry Pi, which is. Cool, doesn't it? You can look out. Never played that level. It's playable. A bit chunky in places, maybe. It's probably slower than it is on the 
slower than it is on the Mika. Quit out of that. Yep. So, there's actually, in some ways, the more novel things to play is what's available as a Mac. There's all the better top sort of Mac colour games are there, really. Which is pretty, pretty fancy. Well, can you shut down out there? You shut down out there and you come. Come back into Amiga, uh, MAME, is, does MAME work on there? It does. Let's try uh, Robotron. to get it to there we are a bit of coins in don't you How do I add coins? I can't remember. Oh, wow. to play with on joystick. Yeah, that comes out, that's cool. Main works in there. You've really got everything a retro computing person would ever sadly need. You've got PC on here. And uh, SNES as well. Cool. Pocket SNES. Select ROM. Well, that seems to be stuck now. I don't know how to, which key gets it out. Well, oh, lucky then. Whatever key that was. So yeah, you got out everything you could possibly want as a to uh, relive Amigas. They're in a box that looks like a. Commission. The key was a, one thing is the USB socket, there's a little lump there with a that makes putting the controller back in place. A little tricky. Right, well, there you are, my uh, Amiga in a ColecoVision, probably the best Amiga money can buy, and it's a ColecoVision, which is pretty cool.